Hey, RK fans, we're out here in beautiful Moab. Uh, there's been a lot of chatter. It's something we've been talking about for a long time is a double triangulated rear setup. You know, and we're not trying to take anything away from the Generate Elite kit. That's a great kit. Uh, you know, and there's a bunch of other people that build builders kits for double triangulation in the rear. But being a Northeast company, you know, or a company that has to de deal with weather, we really didn't want to ever have to cut up through the body, cut holes and everything, and basically be less invasive in the vehicle. So it was more factory inside the vehicle. You weren't smelling fuel from a fuel cell in the back. So what we came up with is our Rockzilla series. This will be offered in a couple different configurations. There'll be one with just coil springs that you can run any shock you want to. Coil over front, coil spring rear and shock and coil over front and rear. They all feature the independent three-link front end. The full-blown Rockzilla kit as shown on this vehicle will require a Dynatrack 72 and a half WMS axle with three and a half inch backspace wheels as upfitted right here. We've done a lot of things very differently and, and non-conventional with what we've done here. We designed a mid-mounted fuel cell, so the gas tank is actually right underneath, right behind the transfer case. Nice big skid plate covering from the front long arm mounts to the rear cross member. You don't even have to cut out an OEM cross member with this kit. It is the least invasive system that I know of with a double triangulated rear and coilovers. As you can see, the coilovers tuck right up inside the wheel wells. Obviously, this is the JL version. We will be, will be working on a JK similar setup. Uh, we haven't had time to tackle that. We've been so busy with production needs that R&D is kind of taking a back seat. But we finally got this one together. We're out here enjoying it, and it's doing tremendously well. Same coilover setup that you use with our conventional front assemblies out of all of our systems. And, you know, like I said, it's, it's pretty badass. The, the double triangulated rear and for the Dynatrack axle comes with a truss that locates off of the Dynatrack mounting pads and the lower control arm mounts key off of the Dynatrack bump stop pads. It's a full complete system. The only thing you will be required to do and we will spell it out in the instructions is how to plumb the fuel system. It takes your stock sending unit and you just make all the connections and it's done. Again, the least invasive double triangulated full link assembly that we know of. No, no fuel smell inside the vehicle, you know, no cuts up through the body so you don't have any rust holes. Again, being a Northeast company or a company that deals with weather, that, that's very important to us. This gentleman is from Michigan. Obviously, they need to deal with weather there, you know, and did not want to have to deal with, you know, snow, slush going up inside the car. So this was the perfect Jeep for the application. Again, independent three link front, double triangulated four link rear. There'll be a baby Zilla, which will be the coil spring assemblies. There'll be Rockzilla light, which will be the coilover front and coil spring rear, or the full Rockzilla kit, which is coilover front and coilover rear. You can add in air bumps. We've done so on this vehicle with the 1.5 inch stroke Radflow air bumps right in the factory spring towers. On the other applications, you will be able to not have to go to a 72 and a half WMS axle. Um, we will be doing design work for other applications for axles. When we release this in January of 2022, which is the target date, you know, the, the initial offerings are all gonna be Dynatrack products. On the front, to do the independent three link, we run it on the passenger side with a nice bolt on truss. Again, locating on some of the bolts off the top of the differential with a truss down the passenger side with the integrated third link mount. Very, very similar to what we've run in our JLU392 Ultra 4 race car. It's almost exactly the same suspension geometry. Just with a race car, we went to a race fuel system, so it was a little bit different. But, you know, no check engine lights. The vehicle thinks it's still operating under 100% factory parameters. Very nice, simple setup. We look forward to releasing this next year, and we, we look forward to getting it into some customers' rigs so we can hear all the feedback. It, it's performing amazingly well out here this year, you know, but we, we have some other, you know, more testing 
a uh, minimum of probably another eight months before we feel comfortable saying it's gonna hold up to our standards. Again, we feel super comfortable with this vehicle. We've watched it do some amazing things this week. Tomorrow it's gonna be going on Pritchett Canyon. So, you know, we're, we're just gonna try to beat the hell out of it and have fun. Thank you all, and if you have any questions, again, reach out to us.